So, uh, one of the other things we thought we'd make a video about is um, nondescript, non-specific knee problems. So, uh, it goes through some of the things you might want to do if you had some such issue. Uh, start off with uh, with body weight exercises. Um, anybody can do these. These are these are general sort of prehab uh, exercises. So the first one being just a, a single leg knee drop. So uh, foot beside the pad. So looking up, keep your balance. So good control. Down, touch, and up. Down and up. Uh, so doing reps per leg. So sets of eight, sets of ten. Uh, as you get better, move a pad, get better, move a pad, get better, move a pad. Um, I think you see where this is going, all the way down to the end. Uh, another thing you can do is a single leg uh, knee uh, box one. So, same process with the bench, holding onto your hands, laying out in front, controlling, and down nice and easy, and pressing up. Down with control, pressing up. So they're two really simple uh, exercises to do that you don't need any any equipment for. So uh, the knee drops and the box squats. Um, another thing we use a lot of is just the goblet squats. Uh, so a straight goblet squat, a goblet squat, and, and shifting the center of balance. So with a press out, uh, just changing the torque on the knee. The pressure on the uh, on the patella and around the joint, looking for stabilisation. RDLs, um, so dumbbells in both hands and a push back, trying to build up that hamstring strength. Single leg deadlifts, dumbbell or kettlebell. Once again, trying to build up the the hamstring, uh, and then you get on to, to band work. So. Uh, like I said, these aren't just particular to, to knee rehab. Not knee rehab. Not knee rehab. Yeah, that's it. I think we're legally fine now. <laughs> so, um, terminal knee extension. So, leg in the bed, pull it back. Find the place down here. So brace it on the rack. All the way down. Push it all the way back, straighten the leg. So, full flex. All the way down. Push it back, full flex. Next one, so feet in the bands. So hooked in. So bands under tension. So single leg. Pulls. Double leg pulls. So the legs actually, joints actually under tension while you're pulling and uh, you're working on all the stabilizing and uh, structural muscles. Another one's just a bare press down. Pretty simple. Just to improve your proprioception. So hang on once again. Break between the band, let it come up. Try to keep the knees straight. Press it all the way through. Coming up. Press it down straight. What you're trying to work on is the proprioception in the knee, so the control in the knee. So uh, when you try that, you'll see a lot of people when they start off, because of the, the fact that the pressure is through the through the foot, it's being torqued either way, but they don't have a lot of control through their knee and their hip and their ankle to try and build that up. Another one that we do uh, is just a three-point balance activity. Uh, so there's another. I'll get Barry to to link to another. Um, another one of the videos. It's fairly simple. We'll get to, uh, just using uh, usually just use bottle caps on the tiled floor. So your hands together, bottle cap in front, try to push it out. You can measure how far it goes. Bottle cap behind, pushing back. Measure how far that goes, and then pushing out back to the side. So you can measure your progress and your increase in uh, your strength, and your proprioception, and your functional movement. Just measuring those distances. Stand on the same little legs, pushing out on the other leg. Pushing back and then pushing out behind, uh, just simply using the, the bottle caps to measure it. So there's some uh, there's some uh, simple, easy stuff to do for uh, 
nondescript, non specific, knee injury. Not injury, you're not allowed to say injury either. Oh, I can't say injury. No, yeah. uh, knee. Knee dysfunction. Dysfunction, okay, yeah. <laughs> <There you go. laughs>